Hello. Is it all good? There's your audio. Yep, you're good. That's all fine. right. You're on, a, you're on a delay. I know we're on a delay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, uh, Sims 4 community. Uh, we have uh, a bit of a stream today just to talk about the update and some of the cool things we just released, why we're talking about it today, and then uh, what's planned for the future. So some quick introductions first. My name is Grant Rodiak. I am the senior producer. This is Jason Brooks, UX director. Say hi, Jason. Hello. Kim Hughes, uh, UI designer, UI artist. What's your... UI designer. UI designer. Great. <laughs> Say hi, Kim. Hi. <laughs> Antonio Romeo, associate producer. We also have uh, Steve Lansing helping us out over here and Kate Olmstead from the community team. I can't wait. Hey, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, so before we get going too much, um, I know that there was a lot of hype for this. We said, hey, we have an update coming up. Hey, we have a stream coming up. And everybody started assuming everything. Um, one of the things we want to do is that we want to stream a lot more, like a lot more. And one of the things we recognize is that we pretty much only show up to talk about the new expansions. And so we want to stream a lot, whether it's for small updates, just playing the game, just sharing things with the community. And unfortunately, because we've only shown off expansions in the past, I know that there's a lot of hype and expectations for what this one would be, but one of these had to sort of break the ice. One of these had to sort of be the first one that is not a big expansion or a big announcement. So this is going to be more the norm. And the reality is, is we tend to have monthly updates, whether it's uh, free clothing content, free objects, new features, new updates. And, and some of them are going to excite some parts of the community and some of them are going to excite other parts of the community. Um, and this is something that we've been wanting to do for a while. And, um, and, and something I've said a lot on Twitter is that we plan to keep supporting The Sims 4 for three plus years. I know I'm thinking about stuff for three plus years out. Um, and this is a bit of an indicator for that because we're, we're doing some nice investments in what we're up to. So we updated the gallery and this is the first of many updates we have more planned for this calendar year we can't talk about it yet but um, this is just the first foundational step so before we get into what we changed uh, we wanted to talk about like really what the gallery is because we know that a ton of people use it like millions of people um, but there's a bunch who don't know what it is so like at a high level uh, the gallery is where you could share sims in the households different rooms and different uh, buildings um, there's no custom content or script mods. It's completely safe. While people can upload pictures that have custom content, you actually still have to go to another website to get it. So it's completely safe to download things from the gallery. You don't have to worry about hacks or mods. Um, it is meant to be a safe, uh, comfortable place to share. Um, and with all that talking out of the way, I'm going to shut up and um, let Jason and Kim start talking about what some of the changes were. And uh, Antonio's gonna be driving for us, and the first one is just that we have badge notifications like you'd see on your iPhone. Yeah, <laughs> that is correct. Right. Um, so this is a feature that used to just surface in TNS for the most part. Um, so now the things that trigger this, Kim, I think are if someone's following you, if they've commented on your profile, on an item you've made. Yep, if they like kinda, something. Yeah, yep. so before that was kind of hidden in this area of the homepage called the feed that is still there, but we're planning on making some changes to that in the future, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, so now this is the way, if you're a creator and you want to see what people are saying about things you've made, this is top 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 of the screen, always visible in any mode you're in inside the game. Yeah. And you can turn it off if you want to in options, if you don't want to see something going up with all the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should we jump in? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Sure. Hold on. I'll scoot over, <laughs> let people in. We're gonna cram the stream full of some gurus. Okay, right. so the first thing you'll notice is we've completely changed all the tabs. So we have four tabs now, different names. Mm -hmm. We've changed community to gallery. If you look at the gallery tab now, we made a lot of changes here to try and help people uh, have an easier way of using stuff. We've moved following to the top level, we've moved liking to the top level, and we've moved downloading to the top level as well. Uh, we just want it, to be easier for people to find a follow and connect with other people that they like, the content they like to play with. Yeah, we've also incre uh, included some personalization, right? So now the names are more prominent, your actual yep. name of the creator. And your profile As well picture. as the associated image next yep. to it. Everywhere we can include that, we're doing that. Oh, we've added hashtags. That's right. Yep. We've added the trending hashtags <laughs> to the top level. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just click on them and it actually takes you straight there. So instead of typing them, you can just click on them. Yeah, you and every single... Um, Thing that's being created has all their hashtags on the top level so if you add hashtags to what you design those will be shown and if you click on the hashtag you'll search for all those hashtags so if you're interested in finding homes 
and you click on home on one of those um, pieces of content, mm -hmm. you'll see all the homes, everything that's got the same hashtag. Um, yeah, also try liking some stuff in the top level too. Yeah. Um, you no longer have to go inside and like it in there. and So you can just like whatever you want all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of liking. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of liking. <laughs> Yeah, so before everything happened in the item detail page, the panel that pops up yeah. after you click on one of those buttons, so now we're making it much more efficient. You can just do everything, almost like you could on Instagram, just at that top level, be able to like, follow, download. I mean, one of my favorite things is this button. Yeah. I, I tend to browse the gallery, see a cool thing, and I have to click in, a yeah. couple clicks. Yeah. Now I'm just like, yeah. I like this, and then we're going to do that. Yep. We'll, we'll get back to that later, but super easy to just quickly download all this stuff. Um, it's gonna be like, oh, that's oh yeah, cute. We'll, oh. we added a freezer bunny. Freezer bunny. <laughs> um, it's actually a pretty nice house. So we've also put following to the top level, so you can follow creators really easily now. It used to be several levels yeah. down in people's profiles, and we found that annoying. So we wanted to, we wanted you to just be able to go and find the people whose content you love and just follow them immediately. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was, yeah, there was one uh, one thing I really liked. We were uh, we were browsing the gallery earlier this morning, and we saw some uh, some really cool pet stuff. Um, this is this is a really cool home. I like this. So if I if I like something, quickly just follow this creator. Done. Yep. Yep. And if you open the item detail, um, you can see we've completely changed the layout of this so that you can properly comment on the side now. You can read everyone's comments and see them. I love commenting on stuff, so I'm really happy that that's bigger now. We've also added a freezer bunny picture behind. So if you've yeah. got no comments, it's more exciting because you've got a freezer bunny picture. One funny thing about the comments update yeah. is a couple weeks ago on Twitter, somebody asked me how to do a certain thing in the gallery. And because I play on the early dev builds, I took yeah. a screenshot of it and I accidentally <laughs> leaked it. And I had a lot of junior and I had a lot of junior producers running over and being like, great, 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 take it down, take it down, take it down. And so um, I, right. I, I leaked this uh, weeks yeah. ago for those of you who are savvy followers. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think before this amount of real estate for comments was like five lines. It was tiny. Now it was... it's the entire length of the panel. Yeah. So you I, can actually yeah. engage with the creators, share tips, advice about different things, and have a much more active conversation. Yeah, I love to comment on people's stuff, so it's nice to be able to actually see them and to be able to read the conversation too. So we will probably do some more work on it later, but that's just the first things we're trying to do to improve it, I think. Mm hmm. So Tomcat, you're asking what the gallery is. It's a place where um, players within the game can share sims, houses, um, all sorts of stuff directly within the game and you could download it directly. In fact, we made a pretty big change to how you can download houses. Does anybody want to talk about that? Yeah. Sure. How do we do that? I'll go ahead and leave gallery really quick. Yeah. So previously in live mode, you could not download houses uh, due to some limitations, but we fixed those and so now you can actually Download and install houses from live mode, um, which is something people have been requesting forever, and it's it's a pretty big change. Yep. So we're glad to finally fix yeah. that. We knew it sucked. Yeah, before it was super frustrating, right? So you get all the you find this house you love in gallery, mm -hmm. you get all the way to place it in into your lot, and it's, it says that's not available in this mode, right? So now we've done some yeah. technical work to make this possible, so that you can place something directly while you're in live mode. Um, one thing I want to one, one thing I want to comment. Um, a lot of folks are asking about gallery, and that's a good question. Um, what I would say is, as we sort of said at the at the top of the stream, we're actually planning on more updates for the gallery. Um, some big ones later this year. I can't talk about them yet. Um, they're in progress. They're pretty cool, we think, and we have a lot more plans um, down the road for the gallery, like the years out. And uh, one of the things is because we have to port those changes to the console, we want to make sure that. We have the changes finished on the PC first so that we don't have to constantly go back and forth. So we plan hoping to support the, ga the gallery on the console as well, tentative, um, but that's our intent. We want to make sure that we get things settled a little bit on the PC first so that we're not doing the work three or four times. So hold tight. Please be patient. Um, we understand that we, you guys want it and we're going to try to do that. Yeah, so within a couple seconds, I grabbed this really cool home, which would probably take someone like me. I don't even know if I could build something this awesome. Yeah. No, it would take but hours. If, you know, it would, yeah, it'd take maybe days to yeah. build something like this, to plan it all out. And a couple minutes, I have this awesome yeah. home that I can just drop down, jump in, and start playing. Um, yeah. took, for me, I think one of the most powerful tools of Sims 4 is the gallery. Like, being able to share your creations with other players. I'm terrible at creating Sims and Cass. <laughs> um, I love going in there and finding all the creative things yeah. that people have made. Uh, one, of, one of the cool things we saw 
um, this morning was I didn't actually realize players did this, but there was people were creating base sims. So I'm terrible at creating faces and stuff, but I do mm-hmm. kind of like going in and dressing sims up. Mm-hmm. So people create base sims that actually have really nice, you know, um, facial structures and everything. Yep. They like they took a lot of time to create them. And I can just drop them in and start accessorizing them, put whatever hair I want, you know, put various clothes. Um, it makes playing around with Sims and homes very easy. Um, I one, it's great. One more question I want to answer. So a lot of people, we know a lot of you who use the gallery really wish that you could upload your own pictures, your own thumbnails, and we know this. Yep. Um, <laughs> winky face. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say right yeah. now about that. My Forrest Gump impression was garbage. <laughs> Let's see. What's uh, what's another home we can drop down? This thing. This looks pretty cool. What Let's see what that? this is. It's like a ultimate it's a box gym. of fitness. That's oh wow! They put an ice skating rink on top. That's oh, really wow. cool. And then there's like a basketball court in there. Oh, I love the basketball court. That one down there looked really cool. The modern house. The modern there, house. Which modern one? house seven. Modern down house there. seven. Yeah. Oh, let's check this out. I love out. that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love all the people yeah. who take the time to actually build landscaping yeah. around their homes. That that's something I'm terrible at. I love building, but taking the time yeah. to actually like decorate the landscaping and stuff, I'm really bad at. Um, yeah, let's drop this down. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While this is happening, um, one other thing that we know is a, a really hot button issue for the gallery is uh, the sense of plagiarism and people republishing other people's creative works. We also know this is an issue. It's um, it's kind of a sticky one, but we have some ideas. We're actively pursuing how to improve this as well. So stay tuned. We know that this is an issue. We're working on it. So um, uh, again, stay tuned. Like there's a, there's a lot to do uh, with The Sims 4, whether it's with the gallery, it's with the UI, it's with the gameplay. Like there's always more stuff to do. So um, we know you guys want a lot of stuff and we're trying to work on all of it. Yeah, we have a great list that we're working we're through and stuff we're looking into actively. Yeah. yeah. It'll make the game better. Yeah. So I'm on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just do it in the options. You want to show them? Uh, yeah, I think go to options. Okay. <laughs> go to other so people are asking if you can turn off notifications yeah. for the gallery well sh- Kim's going to walk us through that go to, right op- now. Go to other uh, there and then online notifications the second online one down online featured online notifications yep Oop. if you check that they should turn off great bam yeah. awesome and yeah that's how you turn off the online um, yep. notifications and we also did a few minor just visual changes just to update the way the other tabs worked so we just improved the library and the profile yeah let's go but we will be doing more work to them later it's just uh we just wanted to make it look a bit nicer as we went along yeah uh kim kim actually has a pretty good profile if we go to this what was it kim Kim tendo 64 so you guys can follow kim's actual account i I don't have that many things (laughs) well she she actually spent uh you know, earlier this week following a bunch of stuff. So if we go into... If you go to my catalogue, which is, uh, if you click on my name on there, yep. you can go directly to my profile. Yeah, okay. that's one Easy of the features. That's and then great. if you go to view catalogue... Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see these are some Sims I've uploaded. There's our engineer, Simon. He's all this work together. Simon with his raccoon. Oh, he's got a raccoon. A little trash panda. But if you go to my favourites... You'll see I've saved all my favorites, all these amazing builds that I found as I've been playing around the game for the last few years. Whoa. You see all the amazing stuff people have made. I think it's just stunning. Like, what? I don't know how they do it. Like, it's really good. So wow. definitely take a look if you want to see some good stuff. I kind of want to place this down. Let's, let's yeah, see I can't imagine what's like. going to come out like I haven't tra- tried all of them. Wow. I just, yeah, I love how easy it is to just <laughs> plop in different I know, let's see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so folks folks are asking if we're showing something else. Um, today, uh, if you go read the patch notes, which I linked in the chat a while ago, and I'm sure Ooh. they're buried under thousands of chats. Oh, wow. Today's, today's update, we, we fixed some bugs. We had some quality of life improvements. Um, but we also did this gallery update. And today we're just talking about the gallery. Um, uh, we beautiful. have more stuff planned for August. We have more stuff planned after that. So stay tuned. Um, some months will be something you guys, some of you are really excited about. Some months will be some things that others are really excited about. It's a really huge community. Um, and so uh, we, we have more stuff planned for this year. Don't worry. We, we have a lot of that. cool stuff coming out. Uh, an amazing job. Yeah. Who, let's see who that made was this. Mine, wasn't it? Go back to mine. Um, Somebody is asking what I mean by quality of life. So there are times where we have bugs, which are issues that are not working the way we intend. Quality of life is where we change tuning or how something works. So it's not necessarily a fix per se, but we're, we're making the game better based on some of the requests. So for example, we made it so that you can carry the easel in your inventory now, which means you can go out and about and paint in the world. That's what I would consider a quality of life update. 
Yeah, so this, the Tinkerbell Fairy Cottage. This find was, you. Yeah, find you. Yeah. That, find this is, J-O-O. I mean, if you scroll down further. Yeah, let's see what else we have. Um, I'll have like a lot of, what probably else? got a lot of Sims and households. Oh, yeah, Some amazing, cool. lovely Sims that people have made. An amazing elf that's sim. A, that's a deer. Oh, yeah, someone's made a deer. Whoa. Which is a bit like, so if you download that. <laughs> oh, <don't be> <laughs> if you download that. I think that deer might be a good boy. <laughs> I downloaded that and filled a 12 whole out of 10, <laughs> Woody Corn. <laughs> I filled my whole whole household with these, and I had like seven oh, deer. Man. It was great. So, do you remember the stats for the gallery? Like this how many people use it? <laughs> yeah, if you go back it's to the something like it's like a half million uploads a month. I just know the percentage of people that. Use okay, it. yeah, it's like sixty percent of monthly. It's more than that. It's you would favorite something like this, Kim? Yeah. <laughs> what? Someone did some really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Is that Antonio? Or something? I mean, I, look, look at that. <laughs> There's a striking resemblance. Hold on, let me get my leg. <laughs> <laughs> is that pretty good, right? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think he's great. <laughs> I mean, left your sandals in the car. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, because people are actually having um, a challenge there. So, godly if you challenge. take a look, there's a hashtag godly challenge. So, yeah. people have been running challenges in the gallery. Uh, you should try mm. and take part if you want. Let's see what if I click that. What happens? <laughs> it didn't take me to anything. That's uh, okay. I'll change to most popular. Oh, most popular. Down, down. There we go. Yeah, there you Whoa. go. You can see everyone's godly challenge. Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah Aphrodite it's good uh, there's a lot of some fun Ooh. stuff on there there's a lot of other challenges as well you just have to find them that's the hashtags really cool. yeah like uh, like Grant was saying these are just very early steps we're taking to make this experience a lot better um, yeah I like seeing uh, how many different cool. interpretations people have for how I look <laughs> 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 this is really cool yeah how did they do that the, the double Oh, this is vampire. the yep, vampire. Yep. yep. Oh, you had one that was really cool. Um, let's see. Let's go back to your name. Kim Tender. What did I have? Sixty-four. You had one that I was I thought was really cool. In my favorites. Yeah, in your favorites. So if we go here, go back to favorites. There was the the Beauty and the Beast one. That oh I yeah, was that one's really one cool. of my favorites. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. So you this was that. amazing. The Lonnie Kims. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this this player actually created a uh, beast as a vampire and yeah. made his alternate form. The, you yeah. know, the, the At the end prince. of the movie when he turns into the prince. Oh, they made Belle as well. I didn't yeah. see her. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. I love all this. Oh, wait. Did they make it a vampire? So when he's a vampire, yeah. he's a beast. He's oh, a, well, yeah. that's brilliant. Wow. It's very smart use of vampires. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, nice. This is very cool. Another, yeah. another small thing that makes a big impact, I think, with this gallery update is Kim revamped all the visuals of the gallery, so it feels much more like the game now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? It's using a lot more of the UI elements of the game. It feels more consistent. We just want to look in chat. Fresh. Hi, Hi Morgan. Yes. Yeah. This one's really cool. I love these like little hanging, hanging gardens and. Yeah, I like that too. I love modern houses as well. Mm -hmm. Really like. There's a lot of good modern houses. Let's, let's drop this one. Let's, let's take a browse. So I can spend hours just dropping homes yeah. and like going in and exploring them and <laughs> checking them out. One thing I want to bring up, um, which some of you probably noticed this morning, uh, the gallery was down a little bit and something that we're yeah. working on, you know, it's been live for four years and with the rest of the game, um, uh, we're, we're trying to do some server maintenance. We're trying to improve the stability of the gallery, how well it performs. And so um, this morning it was down, which was really frustrating, and I was uh, eating my hair, uh, which is why it doesn't exist, uh, in nervousness uh, before we did the stream. But it's something that our engineers are actively working on to try to improve that. So just wanted to recognize um, that, like, it's been a little iffy lately. We're working on it. We recognize it. And, and like a lot of things, we're, we're trying to make sure it's as good as possible. Uh, some people are asking if those are mods uh, that you're seeing in the custom content stuff or in the in the thumbnails. They're actually not – they're modded it's custom, custom content. thumbnails. In this um, modded custom thumbnails. But yeah. when you download it, you will not actually be getting that custom content. We'll go ahead and replace it with some uh, base game or existing assets that you may own from yeah. various packs. Uh, well, see. you can see that in CAS, actually. If you go out to CAS, you can download a sim and see what Oh, happens. yeah, let's, let's do that. So um, if you go out to CAS. Let's go to Manage Worlds. I swear I was going crazy. Uh, during development, <laughs> and I thought we changed that little loading screen, and <laughs> we did. Kim, Kim verified right. we added blue into that little yeah. loading screen. Um, here, let's create a new household. So we'll jump yeah. into here. Donna. Create new household. 
And if you, uh, there's, there's several ways of getting Sims from the gallery actually in your game. There's if you go to the bottom, anyways. yeah, the bottom right, you can randomize. Go back, go back. You can Ooh. randomize Sims from gallery if you click down there. Oh dice. yeah. Yeah, man, you can just randomize gallery. random weird Sims Ooh. in from the gallery that people have made. And you can <laughs> that, <see> that, that <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> I always <He's> forget. Amazing. <laughs> I forget this good. feature exists. You can this see. Is who, a good one. You can see who yeah. made him if you click on the eye. Yeah, this is super. So that was powerful. made by Lisa B two. And you can just download and favorite right here. Yeah, you can favorite and download him. Yeah, this yeah. this tool right here. Save into your library. I always forget it exists. Yeah, I mean, I don't usually use it because I like to pick what mm -hmm. Sims I'm going to use, but it is funny if you want to see some Again, some interesting I can, stuff. I could spend hours here, just a, randomizing these. A big part of our initial philosophy behind the Sims 4 Creative Tools was making it easier to help people make cool stuff. Because um, a lot of times our tools are um, it really advanced, really hard to get to. Um, and the gallery is something that, like, like, I don't really like designing Sims anymore. I've been mm -hmm. making Sims for so long that I'm just over it. And I, I like having the gallery to find people that are interesting that other people can create. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, yeah. If you, go and, if you go and look at some of my stuff with the modded thumbnails, you'll see yeah. that when you download it. Let's download Booty It the usually beast. looks fine. Um, And the gallery randomization has actually been in there since just a couple months after launch. That was one of the first things yeah. uh, we did after the game shipped. Um, and I think it's just one of those things a lot of people don't see it. In fact, randomize on the bottom left is one of my favorite features in the game because, like, <laughs> I just hit that, hit that, hit that, and be like, yep. <laughs> the little hand replace on the lips them. is so good. All right. Let's... And then replace. Yep. We're going to download Beauty and the Beast. So that's clearly a custom screenshot with the, the shushing. Yeah, it's a custom Shh. screenshot, yeah. Yeah. Items removed. So it tells us we've probably removed some custom content. We're yep. going to replace it. But yeah, for I mean, oh, he came out pretty good pretty though. Close. Yeah, yeah I can that's tell the difference. Pretty good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> no, that's very good. For folks who just joined, just want to sort of refresh. What we're doing today is it's a small update. Um, <laughs> it's it's nothing super crazy. Uh, we are trying to do a lot more streams. A uh, couple a month, actually, and this means that sometimes we're going to be showing off expansions, sometimes we're going to be showing off updates, sometimes we're just going to be playing the game with nothing to announce at all. And so I know a lot of you have been used to us using friends. the updates and the streams to, to announce new things, and so that this might be a little disappointing, but um, we're hoping to sort of get into a pattern of we just want to talk about The Sims, the game that we love, the game that we've all been working on. Um, and so sometimes hopefully we could show you guys some new and exciting things and sometimes we're just going to show you uh, little tweaks that we're working on. And again, um, we've said this a couple times now, this is a tiny uh, gallery update. That's why we said don't get too hyped, but we have big things planned for the gallery for the game. And uh, there's a lot of stuff, both free and otherwise, uh, that's going to be coming throughout this year. So just stay tuned. We have a lot of cool stuff for you guys. Oh, it's got some modded content mm -hmm. in it. You know it's got modded content because yeah. it's got the little flag on it. Yeah, so this little gear or the, the wrench icon yeah. means that there's actually modded content in yeah. this. Um, you can also click this checkbox over here on the left side. You can include or not include modded content. So yeah. I, I think the the bald sims are really brilliant. I, and I never have thought about that, but basically people have created just the, the <laughs> shell, the face. Yeah. But this means you can apply whatever hair and clothing you want. Um, and it won't strip out um, the other content potentially. I think it's really smart. Yeah, and I'm I, again, I'm terrible at creating Sims, so. Well, it I, also makes me like wonder, like watching how people use the gallery. Like this is how we, like it might change how we ultimately design it or what we do if we almost make a Sim that's like just a face or just something else. Because then we might make a custom screen or something just to show the face if that's ultimately what you're selling yeah. um, as a part of the gallery update. So here, this one, this is uh, Lil Simsy. She created oh, yeah. this family. Um, she has some modded content in here. But I'm going to yeah. go ahead and place the household. I'll replace them. Uh, applying this, it'll replace my current household, which is Beauty and the Beast. Um, and you can see nothing bad happened. It may have removed some content that was modded. But you can just go in here and quickly, you know, put something. We'll put her in a robe. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can get the base sims. I'm sure there might be some modded t-shirts or clothing, but you won't actually get that content. You can quickly replace it with whatever you, you have. You can turn off modded if you don't want modded stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's, I think, by default turned off. Yes, by default it's turned yeah. off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're following your favorite um, Sims uh, influencer and they post some content, they typically will link to like where their custom content is. So you can download that custom content from outside and then download their creations in the gallery and it should just all work together nicely is there anything else you wanted to just keep oh this tiger oh wow let's, let's download a tiger <laughs> we're gonna replace a tiger. you can even merge a tiger into the house yeah 
That's uh, really good. That's pretty good. Yeah, so this probably took someone <laughs> three or four hours to make. I mean, you could make a pretty good kind of, like, wildlife park mm -hmm. with a deer. <laughs> yep. Deer, a tiger, deer eating a tiger. Well, no, there's no deer eating tigers. I wonder what if that person's made any other stuff like oh, that yeah. as well. Oh, no, I lost it. Let's see. <laughs> You need to tell me these things. Oh, this is really cool. That's a oh, wolf. A wolf. But if you click on their name. Yeah, so let's click them. Wow. Let's see what else they made. My <gasps> it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby deer. <laughs> That's cute. And it's a baby family of things. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, if oh, you look at their really catalog. really cool. And then maybe they have more. Yeah, let's go into the catalog. Do we have anything that we missed in part of the updates <laughs> or anything on our show? It's Fox. No, I just, I like the fact that we're touching a feature that there's lots of engagement already. Lots of players oh. use this feature. We're it's making it better. Popular. We're focused on the creators. We have a plan more than just this update to continually do more for that community and help kind of craft this with you guys as we keep keep building stuff. So um, I thought we were going to kick it off now to uh, Kate. We're going to take our leave. She wanted to address them a little bit, and that's it. So again, not awesome. a not a massive thing today. Uh, just a little bit of an update for the gallery, and uh, you know, thank you guys for checking in. Here's Kate to say a few quick things. Come on, Kate. Put this in, though. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Please help me. Is that... <laughs> Please help. All right. Hey, guys. So as I promised, I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of how we're going to be communicating moving forward, um, especially here on Twitch. As Grant kind of mentioned, we're going to be using Twitch a lot more. And I know kind of over the last month or so, especially since we announced that we're not going to be doing quarterly teasers anymore, people have been wondering, you know, what are we going to be doing? So we're going to be working on some really cool things. Um, we're going to be looking at doing bi-weekly streams here on our Twitch with our awesome Sim Grooves, where we're actually just going to be popping in and playing the game and chilling out with you guys for a couple hours every two weeks. Um, this is just going to be something fun that we can do where you can get to know our gurus a little bit better um, and you can watch us enjoy the game like you guys are enjoying the game. We're also going to be starting something called Maxis Monthly, where we're going to be doing a one-hour show every single month, probably around the end of the month, where we're going to do a recap of all of the awesome things that happened in The Sims over the last month, showcase some awesome player-created content, both in the gallery and in the community as a whole, and talk about what might be coming up in the next month. So we're hoping to kick all of this off. Um, starting in September. We might start a little bit of it here um, in August, but definitely look for these things to be coming in September. And we'll be sharing a big schedule with you guys so that you can bookmark your calendar um, and make sure you can tune in for the streams that you want to, to, to do so. So again, thanks for uh, joining us for the live stream today. Um, I know, you know, it was a little different than how we've done in the past, but we're really trying to just engage with you guys a lot more about all all things in The Sims, not just, you know, big pack releases, but fun little updates that we have. Um, and as Grant said, there's more of them coming. Um, and don't worry, there is going to be more paid content in the future as well. Um, we're not going anywhere and we've got a long future ahead of us. So uh, have a great day, everybody. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.